Alright, I decided with my warped mind I would show you folks what my warped mind creates. I see metal and it turns into things. Pitchforks. That's a gear out of the transmission of an XS1100 1979 Yamaha. There's some butter knives on there for feathers. I probably used one of them butter knives at one time. Butter a piece of toast or something. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff on here. Crazy. Well, then I made this one. Plopped him in by the carnations. That's a snake. I don't want to get too close. Sometimes I have wild dreams that my that yellow tail over there don't start rattling. I'm gonna have to run and I'm getting too old to run. Well of course then I had the funny idea to put that weather vane up there, a prehistoric pterodactyl or whatever it is. I got rid of a lot of my stuff because people were questioning my sanity. So some of the stuff went bye bye. Some people actually bought the stuff. Last year, some lady wanted me to make a full size Gatling gun. So I got some wagon wheels like these here, and I made her a Gatling gun. She bought it. Yeah, here's one of the first little guys I ever made. Just a simple one. Hammer. And rebar. I don't know what the heck else I used. This one here, this yellow one, was one of the first ones I made too. My aunt likes that one for some reason, so I'm going to give it to her. She can take it home. That two hammers, a horseshoe, a bicycle seat, and a part of a sickle or whatever them are. This was an old roaster pan cover. Some old antique wrenches, golf clubs, her feet. I don't know what I use for a tail. That was a long time ago. Uh, everybody knows him by now. The infamous male northern pike lizard. Well endowed. That's why he's got a grin on his face. He knows it. And I got the mallard. Drake. Horseshoes, you know, just threw some stuff together, whatever was laying around. Oh, here's another guy here. Sneaking up on me, huh? I haven't seen you in a couple days wandering around the yard, huh? You ain't where I put you before. Some of these come to life at night. They wander around a little bit, protect the yard. Ah, oh, there's another one in the garden there. Yellow one. Another bicycle seat, some type of blade, uh, antique farm, farm stuff. Picked up this little well. Didn't figure out what to do with that yet. Oh, we got some hiding under the bushes back here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got another lizard, boys. A potato planter. He's got some of them old cast iron cobbler shoes for feet. Oh, here's here's old Bobberhead. Yeah, one day I was at a friend's house and his garage door spring broke, and I thought, hey, I can use that garage door spring. And that's what I did. I think that was two, three years ago. I didn't paint him or nothing. I'll let them stand. Cut a pitchfork up. Some other junk. A couple of shovels I sliced in half for wings. Them big coal shovels are getting hard to find. Oh, here's another guy. What are you doing? 
me that cocky look with your head tipped sideways. Uh, another one. Uh, he's got deer antlers. Yeah. Oh, here's a big tall one here. Let's see him. Yeah, you got some funny looking eyeballs there, buddy. Yeah, you got a tongue even. Oh, that's pretty cool. I forgot about you. Anyway, I made a ton of stuff. Some of it's laying around on other people's properties and stuff. I gave a lot of them away. But I'll tell you what, I'll give choice uh, any of them four right there. Hundred dollars. You don't know how much work it is to put them together to buy all the shovels and the pitchforks and stuff like that. The price of argon for my welding tanks, welding wire, all the cuts on my fingers and the blood that I use, you know, slicing fingers and all kinds of stuff, it cuts everywhere, it burns, you name it, burns, black fingernails, yeah I guess I'm insane, we gotta go back over here and look at this, I think that shovel is just amazing, just the detail on that shovel, the way they made them in the 1800s, it's crazy, just about as crazy as I am. Well, anyway, should probably end it on that note. You're probably getting bored. <laughs> oh, that one might be a female. <laughs> Some tatties. Alrighty then, folks. Have a good one. Bye-bye.